Hello everybody, welcome back to another Blender video. It's a bit of a different video today, we're not doing a tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the process of me modelling something in Blender. I'll be modelling a small plane, a Cessna. It's a propeller plane, uh, pretty small, you'll see what it looks like throughout the video. Uh, let's just get into modelling it. So I begin by finding some reference images of a Cessna, and I find a blueprint and this other coloured image here. Now I uh, make sure the images have the same size planes on them and scale them both up to how big I want the planes to be. Now I add in a cube and start modeling the plane. I just scale down and move. I go down the nose and once I've done that I move to a different perspective and uh, model differently on this one like you see here. So this is from uh, the side of the plane and the last one was from the top. Alright, now I go to the front uh, and I just scale this a little bit to see if it fits and it does so that's all good. Then I go on to the wing. So again I'm modeling like so and I just scale and move the vertexes. I bevel the edge there so it's a bit curved but that's probably not very necessary. Right, now I've got the wings, I move that onto the body of the plane, fuselage, I don't know. Anyway, so I move it on there. And I just try to fit it on perfectly so it's seamless. Now, uh, the wings to this plane, the Cessna, uh, they're actually on the top, like you can see here. So once I've moved them on, I just uh, move the body of the plane down and up until it's just underneath the wings. Okay, so I'm just moving up and down the vertexes and the edges so that um, the body isn't clipping through the wing. So we don't want that. Um, so now I join both of them and I add in a face uh, in a second. So I select the edges and click F to add a face. Yep. Alright, so I add a face for all of them and it looks a bit seamless, and then I realise the wings are on the wrong, wrong way around, which is you don't want to hear from your pilot. Uh, so now I add for the I add in the back wings, or whatever they're called, the things at the back of the plane. I'm not really good at plane terminology. And I duplicate that and rotate that, and move that onto the plane. Next thing I do is add that back wing thing whatever that's called, and I move that onto the plane like the other ones. Now I'm adding in the rudder bit to that, so um, that's the thing that you use to move the plane on the ground and a bit in the air, and I do uh, the same thing for there. Now I'm just uh, making the front of the plane a little more comfortable, because uh, it's a bit raised, uh, and I just lower it down here. Now I add in the, the cone bit for the propellers, I just add in a cone, and then I start doing the actual propellers themselves. So again, just modeling like that, I'm going to bevel and scale that down, and duplicate that, and then maneuver that to where the cone is. Okay, uh, now I start beveling the edges of the plane, uh, and this will just make it look more clean. Now I do the texturing, so I start with the basic textures first, like this cone, which is just a metal, and the propeller, which is just a wooden, peachy kind of colour. Now I do a couple of things, uh, first of all I UV unwrap the plane, which in retrospect, oh no, actually, I forget the landing gear, um, which is something else you don't want to hear from your pilot, uh, <laughs> yeah, so don't forget your landing gear. I, I use a torus for the wheel like you see here, and I just join those two shapes together, and I do that for each of the landing gear. Uh, and then I add in the little thing connecting it, it's like a wire cable, I don't know. Add that for both of them and join those together. Now I do, I put those onto the plane, like you see here, 
and I do the front landing gear onto the plane like that. Now I do the other wire cable things connecting to the wings to support the wings I guess like that and I put those onto the plane. Now I do the UV unwrapping. In retrospect I didn't really need to do this um, because I don't even texture it but it's uh, good to get into the habit of doing and um, there was a better way I could UV unwrap it and I didn't do that and this, uh, this bit took the most time so I'm a bit disappointed but I know for next time I'll do that. So I'm just doing the wing here. I go for the back wing, tail, uh, and I just scale those up, and then again, the that thing, uh, and I scale those up, alright, now I go onto the body and just do a smart projection, smart project, projection, sorry, I can't speak, uh, and now, uh, I try a couple things for texturing the plane, first of all, I use that coloured image, uh, that doesn't turn out too good, uh, you'll see in a second what the wings look like. You see, they look kind of, um, I don't know, just not what I wanted. Uh, so I skip that and go on to the windows for the glass. Uh, I'm just cutting out where I want the windows to be. And I'll put some glass textures in there. I'll do the same for the other side. Now I add in my glass texture. Uh, that's just a simple glass BSDF into the texture thing, and I remove that one, the principle, and that just gives it a nice glass. That's what I do for my glass. There are more fancy ways to do it, but um, I just did that. Now, another thing I did for texturing is uh, I tried to use the texture paint, uh, em emphasis on tried. Uh, in a second, you'll see what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm not very good at drawing as you can see from my demonstration. So uh, I just uh, end up using a gradient uh, with texture mapping, or texture coordinate and mapping and a color ramp. And I plug that into the base color. And that gives you a nice gradient uh, moving from the bottom of the plane to the top of, and I think I make it blue. Yeah, I make it blue. Now, I don't think that's too bad. I could have done that better by, uh, you know, actually texturing it. But anyway, I think that looks, this looks pretty good. Now I um, move on to parenting everything to the body of the plane. Sorry if you can hear some background noise. They're demolishing a building outside. Uh, not my building, I hope. Anyway, so I parent everything to the plane. Uh, and this just makes it easier so I don't have to move everything, I can just move the plane. And, uh, yeah. Now I add in a HDRI, that's like a skybox kind of thing, and it adds in lighting as well, and reflections. Now I add in some green and red lights to the wings, like you see on planes. I'm not sure how accurate that is to this plane, but uh, I think it looks cool, so I'm going to add it in. Now you can download this plane in the description, uh, if I remember to do that, probably won't, but if I do, it'll check the description. Now I go back to the back of the plane, select uh, this bit and add in some glass, because uh, the picture had some glass at the back. Uh, and the next thing I do is add in a sun, and I change the colour to a nice orangey sunset kind of colour, I think that goes good with this scene. Uh, and I put that coming down from the top of the plane in a second. And that makes the wings have a nice orangey colour sunset. And that goes with this image. I could have made it more pinky looking back, but I think it's okay. Uh, now I set up the camera. I do some depth of field stuff, uh, but I think I end up removing that because that looks a bit bad. But depth of field is also a very good way, if you don't want to do detailed in the back, uh, you can put in depth of field. Now I begin the rendering. Uh, I sped this up obviously, my computer isn't that good. Uh, about 8 times speed. 
So, there we have it. This is our final render of the Cessna Skyhawk. I think I did a pretty good job. Comment what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like this type of video, I'm not sure if you guys will. Uh, it's a bit of a new thing I'm doing on my channel. If you like it, tell me in the comments below. And as always, if you made it to the end of the video, comment 92, and I'll give your comment a heart. Anyway, I've been Kaleidoscope, and thank you for watching.